You don't need to go to Niagara Falls when you can eat some Brian Balls. Whoa, this is different. Uh, hi YouTube, this is Aroods Big Bright here, uh, and yeah, this is a new little set that I decided to do. As you guys can see, there's not really that much uh, NASCAR related stuff, but uh, since it is the month of May, I decided uh, let's review some indie car stuff because it's not like the Indy 500 is coming up this month. Oh wait, it kind of is. <laughs> but yes, guys, this is the my favorite month that I've been finally looking forward to. And many of my other YouTube friends will know as well, like Race A 2011 and Dave Land, who are already hopped on the Indy 500 um, month train, or whatever you want to call it. So I decided to join those guys, and uh, we will be all joining together very shortly uh, by next week. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, th th this is going to be a really cool uh, little setup, guys, and hopefully you guys get comfortable with this throughout the this month, as we'll be reviewing IndyCar Diecast uh, throughout this uh, month of May. And, um, yeah, guys, like I said, I have a huge passion for IndyCar and the Indy 500, so what better yet to start this review off than an Indy 500 commemorative win and it is going to be on your recent winner for um, the 2016 100th running of the Indianapolis 500. It's going to be Alexander Rossi guys. He is your new face of the Borg Runner Trophy and man was this such a surprise to see. I mean Alexander Rossi really stunned the racing world especially at uh, with the world's greatest uh, racetrack uh, IMS. Just unbelievable that he was able to pull off that fuel strategy but as you see right here, it, um, we, we finally got a uh, <laughs> the Honda Aero kit, uh, the new one, that actually looks really nice. And we don't have that DW12 mold that we used to have uh, for last year's Hondas. So uh, we'll be looking at that very shortly. But let's take a look. Here is the packaging. And one thing that Greenlight does a very great job on this is the packaging. I know they have their ups and downs lately um, throughout the past couple years and they made IndyCar diecast. Um, but one thing they really do a great job on is uh, making wonderful um, decorative packaging for uh, not only the championship diecast, but also for the 500 winners. And that's something that they have been a crown jewel for, um, for the 164s and the 118s, as uh, you can see right here from the, the previous ones from 2015, 2014, 2013 in 2012 and 2011 so uh they've been doing that since uh, 2011 ever ever uh, since they got the licensing rights back of Greenlight collectibles since hot wheels owned them for a couple years um so yeah really nice looking car um like i said uh <laughs> if you're not very delicate with the packaging guys uh, i would probably not recommend taking this car out of the box but luckily i know some little shortcuts to get this car out of the box and plus i know you guys want to see the details but feel free to pause the video if you guys want to look at this uh, wonderful information of uh, your new Indy 500 champion, uh, the American Alexander Rossi. And um, yeah, really nice looking car, and we're gonna get onto a closer look of this bad boy, shall we? Alrighty guys, and we got this car out of its box, and man, does it, it look amazing to have this car out of the box. Uh, I know I, I know, Alexander Rossi is definitely going to be very recognizable with this car. Uh, well, you know, many uh, new IndyCar fans who have just watched uh, the series now are definitely going to recognize this car with its bright um, with its bright blue and yellow Napa colors. Uh, this is definitely a very surprising sponsor that they had for the Indy 500. Uh, and, and actually, I, I was able to see this car in person after the race because uh, we had uh, after garage passes or little tickets that we were able to see um, the winning car after the race and um, if you guys want to check that out I have a Facebook page uh, if you guys want to uh, look at that it's on my profile so uh, <laughs> but yeah the Indy 500 guys it was such an amazing race and this diecast really has no exception to it guys uh, it's not raced win but it's not raced version like what uh, you know like what the other company does uh, for a certain diecast I'm not really going to say because this is an Indy car diecast cast review but um, you see right here the 360 view this looks really nice as you can see right here this is the new Honda Aero kit that we got for um, for this year for the 2017 die cast um, but looks really nice and even uh, back where um, on the back right here uh, where the tie guards are it is all metal so that's a first for green light so really great right there so you got the bright number 98 um, standing for the rookie numbers because he was a rookie 
Uh, very nice looking car. You know, ignore the paint chips right there. I mean, I ordered this car online, but, um, you know, better safe than ever, but still a really nice looking car. And you can see, even see uh, the tires even have details as well. They got the special 500 through running, uh, the, the, the 500 tires for the 100th running. Uh, I think that's a thing that they're going to do every year now. Um, yeah, Firestone always is a big supporter for IndyCar, and they <clears throat> always... Uh, are a great tire supplier, a way more, far better, superior tire supplier than, uh, you know, NASCAR and Formula One. But a uh, really cool looking car, you know, I would go over all these, uh, de all these uh, wonderful sponsors and decals, but there's a lot of them. Um, so right here on the front wings, you got Car Lie Tools, uh, Napa, Andretti Allsport, uh, Delara, uh, I don't know what the hell that sponsor is, uh, California Pizza Kitchen, or whatever that sponsor is <laughs> i'm terrible uh, looking at 164 diecast guys my eyes are like whew. uh you not uh robert graham united fiber and data dhl snapple verizon indycar series honda uh holy christ castrol edge 98 napa and alaska coffee roasting company that's a really random sponsor <laughs> and holy christ uh if you guys uh really like to play the sponsor game this is a really cool car to get right here and it's not actually a target car for once um let's see c s and a uh holy christ i should have looked at this car before i reviewed it uh mock it technicolor uh shop and it looks like uh there's no o in the shop honda so that's cool right there uh, a lot of other sponsors I cannot really read. Snapple, but you guys can mostly see what these sponsors are. Napa Auto Parts, of course, the main sponsor of this car. Uh, you guys can see what the colors are. Carthlight Tools, Napa, Castrol Edge, uh, Honda, and you can see on the scoring pylon right here, uh, the scoring LED, um, it is, uh, if you guys can actually just barely see it, it is highlighted number one because Alexander Rossi did won in this. Uh, otherwise, he would not be an Indy 500 champion. <laughs> Alexander Rossi, uh, Sunoco, uh, I believe that says uh, something blaster. Alrighty. If you guys are probably looking at the 118, then this is pretty embarrassing. <laughs> but, you know, I like to make these IndyCar diecasts uh, very entertaining for all you guys. But, um, yeah, I mean, I'm not really going to go over too much about the sponsors. You guys can mostly see what the sponsors are right there. Don't want to get this very repetitive. But uh, take another 360 view of this. You guys can see it's all die-cast metal chassis and rubber tires. Something line on racing can't really do. Hate to roast them, but you know, this is more bang for your buck at the least. But, uh, yeah, this car, just amazing that, you know, Greenlight was able to make this. This is the second time Greenlight's made a Brian Herta car. Um, of course, you know, in 2011, they made the uh, William Rask car, which I'm not going to show you guys that. Just a pay tribute for Dan Weldon. I showed you guys a sneak peek of it, but... Um, but yeah, really nice looking, cool car. And like I said, this was a very exciting finish for the Indy 500. Alexander Rossi and Brian Herta were able to, you know, um, <clears throat> of course they joined me at the Dreddy Autosport for last for uh, the 500, and it was definitely something to watch out for. And uh, you know, the Andrettis were fast, so you know I have to give them credit. You know, Alexander Rossi and uh, all the rest of the Andretti Autosport Hondas were looking really fast around uh, all the practice days and then leading up to the qualifications and pole day and all those wonderful days. But, um, you know, like I said, I was at this race as well. Uh, as you guys can see right here, I have the uh, program as well, which is autographed by the 500 winner and the uh, pole sitter as well. As you see right there is my ticket as well. Um, so, yeah, it was a very fun race, and I got this in plastic because it's 100th running, so kind of special to me. <laughs> uh, but I also got the bronze badge as well. So, uh, But, yeah, I, I, this is something I always look forward to every year, going to the Indy 500, and there's my bronze badge as well. As you can see right there, it looks very nice. I'll just display that um, to go with uh, your 500 champion. But overall, guys, what do I got to say about this car? This car is just fantastic. Greenlight did a wonderful job making this car, and if you guys are just starting out skinny Indy cars, uh, this is one I would highly recommend getting, and then, of course, all the rest of the uh, Indy 500 cars as well. They're basically, you know, definitely something looking forward to collect, and if you guys could find any of these Indy 500 race win, uh, 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 commemorative wins, I would highly recommend them, because Greenlight, like I said, not only the die cast looks amazing, but the packaging looks awesome. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please give this video a good comment, like, if you guys have not already, highly encourage you guys to subscribe to my channel, as I'll be posting more Indy 500 related videos going on until this month of May. But until then, guys, this is the Ridge Rigbride signing off. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next 
Indy 500 a month, Na um, IndyCar Diecast Review.